stable to sleep right there, right behind him. That and uh, time to go on this another day. The saints tell us that the first thing we think about is what we think about the rest of the day. So if the first thing you wake up and you think about is your enemies, you're gonna think about it the first day, the whole day. Think of something. Let's think of something. What are we gonna think about? I gotta motivate my mind. Think about Jesus Christ. Sometimes I wake up and think of stupid stuff, and my day goes down the drain. The saints, all of them, tell me first thought is is what it is. It's like when you wake up and you get a cup of ice cream. You know how your day is gonna be like, right? So let's, let's, let's think about a lady of Fatima telling us to repent for our sins, telling me to repent of my sins. Today is the feast day of St. Aloysius Gonzaga. Uh, this, this was a young man who gave his life for God, you know, and went to serve the poor. Uh, he gave up everything and was born, I think, in a nice, cushy family. So um, listen to a story right here. They said that um, when he was nine years old, old he made a vow of perpetual virginity he received his communion first communion from saint charles borromeo you know and um when he died he was saying the holy name of jesus when we have issues with purity or any of those temptations or sexual sins let us ask saint aloysius saint gonzaga to pray for us first resistance of the trip um, the road is closed, and I don't think it's anywhere near to go to where I'm trying to go. You know, because these places, it's like, you got to walk like two miles to get to the next road. I'm just going to have to cut through this spot, man. Peace be with y'all, and Jesus love you. So I'm at the Church of Epiphany. Uh, that was a short little walk, just to begin to start, to begin a vlog. That's the church right there, and the sun's coming out. It's a new day. Gotta be hopeful for this day. You know, I went out yesterday, it was raining, looked like it was gonna have rain overnight. I knew I was going. I didn't even have the right rain equipment. As soon as I got off the bus, as soon as I got off the bus, right there in front of me was a place to lay down, and there was a thing to cover up the front. I gotta learn to trust in God more, you know what I'm saying? Trusting in God more and more than I do. Alright, let me stop talking, it's too much talk. Our Lady of Fatima. Read about her, man. There's a book. Uh, go to uh, FatimaCenter.org. Or uh, Welsh. There's a book by a gentleman named Welsh. Google that and download are the kids? Francisco, Lucia, and one Wasinta, something like that. What? Uh, they're the ones that the lady appeared to, and she told she told him to pray the rosary, repent, go to confession, pray for the conversion of sinners, and do penance for sin. The sinners to do penance for our sins, my sins, to do penance and and, and to offer up our sufferings for Christ. When we suffer. As we all see, I'm a hobo. This life is filled with cups of suffering. We're supposed to offer those sufferings up to God. You see? Like you're suffering. When you go to work, you got enemies. At home, you got enemies. In your family, you got enemies. You're probably sick. You probably not have enough money and all those things. You're probably going through the struggle. What we call the struggle is means that you're supposed to offer it up. That is why Christ became a man so he could struggle with you. So to tell you that, my friend, doesn't matter what you're going through, offer it up to Jesus. You might not be able to get rid of that disease. You have two choices. To get bitter and mad at everybody and cuss and be angry and drink yourself to death. Commit suicide. Or come to Jesus and, and, and offer up the sufferings like what Jesus did. You offered up the sufferings to the... Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The stations of the cross. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. And then Pilate brought out Jesus and said, Behold the men. And they said, Crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. And hence Pilate handed over Jesus to the Jews to be crucified. Like a sheep or lamb, he was led to be slaughtered. 
Our Seneca wipes the face of Jesus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be In the Holy Family, St. Joseph was the father of Jesus, the false foster father of Jesus. Mary was the mother and Jesus was the child. So whenever you need something, ask St. Joseph. He's the father of the church, the patriarch, patriarch and the patron of the church. St. Joseph, please provide for us, for us the provisions that we need for this day. May God rebuke him humbly, we pray. Do it, our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell, Satan. Not evil spirits prowl around the world, seeking for the perdition of souls. And just live in the church. Just live in the church. Now time to get on the road. Lord, teach us to be merciful. To be merciful to people who annoy us who rub us the wrong way, who finagle us, who try to hustle us, who annoy us persistently. Teach us, teach us to respond to them with mercy. I'm in this place called Coon Rapids. So I, get, I come here, man, this white guy, he looks at me and spits. Looks at me and spits. It is Cadillac Escalade or something like that. And I thought to myself, should I spit back at him? That's a sin. And I, I remembered what the saying said. I looked at him, and I did the sign of the cross. I kept doing it till he looked away. That's what I was thinking about. Conquering evil with good. It's not easy, because I wanted to spit. I was going to spit back, but then that's not what, that's what we're supposed to try to do. It's not easy, man. But then what was I going to do? Argue with the white guy right here in this white town? Me dressed in rags, just got a Cadillac Escalade and a cell phone? Who's, 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 who's bugging who? They call the police. He just be like, he's troubling me. And what am I going to say after that? So that's what Jesus was trying to say. Overcome evil with good. That's not an easy thing to do. Because I was ready to go off. 